Hello and welcome to this next episode in the Creating a Garment for a Game tutorial series. In this episode we'll be taking the garment we exported from Marvelous Designer 5, which was our zip-up hoodie, and we'll be placing it into Topo Gun to retopologize. So to start with that we're going to go to Load Reference, I'm going to go Desktop, and I'm going to select Hoodie. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go to options and click smooth shade mesh that means the mesh we will be creating during retopology will be smooth shaded which will give us a more accurate representation of what it'll look like in game and I also want to go to keyboard shortcuts in edit go to modify and if you look for connect edge ring set a keyboard shortcut for that because that is something we're going to be using a lot so we're going to be needing that during retopology and it's best to set a keyboard shortcut. I have set mine to control R and I will try to remind you I'm using a connect edge ring but it would be much easier to use during a shortcut. So the tool we're going to be mainly using is a tubes tool. Now there's a couple of things about the tubes tool. Division means the amount of vertices and it basically makes cylinders around the mesh. So it loops around it it makes a tube and the amount of divisions is the amount of vertices and as you can see that snaps to the reference of the mesh. Another thing is once you've done it one way this first red line so the way you draw it which to then was left to right horizontally you then have to carry on for the rest of the mesh and you can only go one way so I can only go up like that because if I try to go up and then down it interferes with the mesh like so. It can only follow one direction. And if you try to go right to left after drawing left to right, it then flips that mesh and it looks, well, it doesn't work. So there's a quick tidbit on the tube tool. And that's all we're going to be using mainly. The other thing we're going to be using is make and edit. And we'll be using those to manually create some topology, but we're going to be doing that later on. First things first, we're going to want to work on this. So we're going to start off with the right arm, well the left arm. And I'm going to go top to bottom and I'm just going to look for the points where the wrinkles and arm geometry dramatically changes. Because we're going to want to keep this as low topology as possible. So up here it changes a lot. And around here is the elbow, so I'm just going to throw in another few tubes here. And then it dramatically changes about here. We'll throw one in here. And one more here, because we have this big lump of fabric about there. And then we right click to build the geometry. And now when we view that, we can see we have this sleeve that follows a lot of the wrinkles, the big wrinkles. The rest we're going to use ambient occlusion for. And now I'm just going to come in with my simple edit tool. And I'm just going to bring this to the edge of that big lump of fabric. Now the reason we can't do symmetry is because the clothing design was made to be non-symmetrical so this is quite different from this meaning if we tried to make similar topology the baking could go quite wrong for where wrinkles aren't in that arm and they are in this arm and all that sort of stuff so we're going to try and keep them separate but following a very close pattern especially for like the elbows and the shoulders and the wrists as they will be animation well, they'll be rigged. So, what I mean by that is the elbow about here needs to have the same amount of vertices because we need it to deform properly. But if you wanted like an extra detail in the folds here and here, out of that sort of deforming animation zone, then that's completely fine to have asymmetrical. But you really want to try and keep those key deformation points symmetrical. And now I'm going to use some edge rings. So like I said, I've got it to control R, but you can also do modify. And I believe it's connect edge ring. And that will create an edge loop. 
So I'm going to create another one here. And sometimes, as you can see, it does break the mesh a little. So you're just going to have to go in. And then you can use right click to swap to this simple create tool. Control to click one vertices, control to click another. And that will create a face. And we'll do it again here. And now the faces are fixed. And we have a more accurate representation of that sleeved arm. And we'll also do one here and one here to try and keep that square topology. And another one for the elbow deformation, which we'll straighten along. And now, like I said, I'm going to have to go through, create a point here, and edit this topology. Now, as you saw, I went from here to here to here, and then like back down to this middle point. That's because this is creating loops wherever you tell it. So if you click this point and then this point, you're going to create a edge between the two points. So always try and go back to the merging point if you need to. Or you can just enter the simple edit mode, select a new vertices, and then you can go back in and join. So we can select that, select that, and I'm just using the delete key to delete the edges I've selected. Delete that one. And now we have some good topology on the arm. We can just go through and manually mess about with to get much cleaner. But for the most part, that's really okay and it's clean. Now we have one of their arms complete. For the most part, we do need to go in and do this cuff. So I'm going to grab a tube and just where that fabric ends, I'm going to create a new line. And you know what, I'm gonna undo that and redo it so we get it right at the end as well. I can drag each vertices to the end of the mesh and it will automatically stop it at the boundary. Okay. Now, there is a lot of fabric at the end of this arm, so we're not going to go through and try and retopologize that. We're just going to use normal maps and ambient occlusion to give that effect. So right now, I'm just using the bridge tool, which is this, the one that looks like a bridge, or Control b on the keyboard. And that will bring up this red line between points that you can create edges through to make faces. So we're just going around this cuff. And connecting it to the sleeve and then if you wanted we've got points where they're not exactly straight on you can go around and manually edit them so that's our first sleeve done now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same for the second sleeve and again we're going to make sure these deformation points are the best topology there so I might throw in another edge loop for this one. And then we'll work on the actual body. Now we want to do the sleeves first because the sleeves make up the shape then of the rest of the body's topology. And you'll see how I mean in the next episode. So in the next episode we'll work on finishing up the second sleeve. This can be something you do during your own time. Now I've shown you how to do the first sleeve. It's the exact same doing it in the second. You can use symmetry if you really aren't that bothered, to be honest. You can create the symmetry. Um, it won't really change the effects all that much unless your fabric is completely different. But on something like a hoodie, it can be fine. The reason I can't is mainly this sort of fabric at the end is completely different to this fabric at the end where it isn't as puffed up as much. So I'm going to have to create that manually. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If your opinions are otherwise, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it down in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. There's always Twitter, which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more.